Hey everyone, Shalani Gordon here, also known as the Online Marketing Angel. And I'm coming to you today because I'm doing a book review. Now, I want you to know that I read often, and if you're actually an entrepreneur and you're looking to start your own business and you're a business owner, you already know that reading is very important. We have to fill, constantly fill our minds with positive information to combat what the average person deals with on a regular basis, which is all this negativity, disbelief, lack of faith, fear. Okay, we have to put information in our minds to help us combat this. And right now, I am currently reading Napoleon Hill's Outwitting the Devil. Okay, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Okay, I'm on chapter three. Chapter one changed my life. I was already in a season, guys. I'm going to tell you I had a lot of changes in my life. If you looked at any of my videos, you know I've currently changed my occupation. I lost my job, which was really a serious security blanket for me. And in letting that go, I realized when you when certain things change in your life, it causes you to really accept who you are and what's in you still, even though things some things you thought you had gotten over already. And so I was in this place kind of in a rut, like, okay, first I was all gung-ho, like, yeah, I can do this. It's going to be fine. And then fear started seeping in disbelief started coming through just unknowing what I was going to do as a single mom got kids to take care of you know we all got responsibilities right so ultimately all this stuff started coming in well this book was referred to me um, I saw it actually on a Facebook post and I went and said okay I'm gonna get that right now ordered the book started reading it guys by chapter one I was already understanding what was going on like when you are right at the middle and right at the front of getting ready to come into a whole new season of straight success and you know without a doubt that you've reached that place now you've gone through enough you look over your past and you're like you know I've gone through a few things some things have happened to me I've made it through you know I always have this joke one of my homegirls I always tell her I'm like you know at this point in my life when I say this is the hardest thing I've ever been through I kind of have to chuckle a little bit because I've said that a lot. I mean, can you think about how many times, remember the first time you ever said, oh my God, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with, right? Now, some of you guys are probably like, nah, I don't really recall that, but y'all ladies, you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, something, so, you know, you get past it, you know, maybe a year, a couple of months go by, whatever, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And then, you know, a couple of years go by, some, a couple months, whatever, then all of a sudden you're like, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. So now I'm in this situation yet again, I'm like, oh my God. This is the hardest, and I just start cracking up laughing. Like, I can't even say it no more. Like, I don't even know what the hardest is because, obviously, there's been a few moments where I thought that was the case, and I made it through. You know what I'm saying? So, back to Napoleon Hill. First off, this book was written right after, the, the manuscript was written right after he wrote Think and Grow Rich. Okay, so he wrote that book, and then he wrote this immediately afterwards. But yet, it didn't come out until, like, a couple of years, years ago. Suppose in the book it talks about reasons why that is you need to get the book and read it and find out But in chapter one and chapter two, he really talks to us Directly about where we are right now This book has come out at the perfect time in the way society is going with how our jobs are not really Stable right now how the economy is not really very stable and you know Napoleon Hill came through that depression And ultimately we already know as entrepreneurs that the most millionaires were created during the depression right this thing changed my life. Now, ultimately, getting it now is awesome because not only am I in a position to actually do something with it, I have the income or the, the stream of income that's necessary in order to take it to the next level. So I ask you, what is your stream of income? Is your stream of income your job? Are you looking at this book just for some self-help? Is your stream of income your job? Is it child support? Is it, you know, governmental help? What is your in-stream, your, your, your stream of income? What is it? What is it right now? And that's something you might want to ask yourself. Is it capable of taking you into a place of being a hundred thousand there in a month? Yeah, making a hundred thousand in a month. Is what you're doing right now capable of taking you there? And if so, how long? Three months from now you can be there? Five months from now you can be there? A year from now? Two years? Four years? How long? And if you know how long, how many sales, how many individuals have to be involved with you in order for you to get to that $100,000 per month business income? Do you know that? These are things you need to know, guys. Now, of course, you need to get the book and start reading, but I'm, I'm in a position where I'm reading the book. I have a business that allows me to generate $100,000 a month. It's capable. It's, everything's there that I need for it, okay? And... It only cost me $25 again. I've already made made my investment back over and over and over again, which is why 
I was uncomfortable with the fact that I had let go of my job, but it had nothing to do with the income situation. It had to do with this right here. It had to do with my state of mind because of the fact that I had never been in a situation where there wasn't a contract on the table. It's one thing to say, you know, I'm going to build this business, but I have this job over here that I know for a fact will pay me every month because we have a contract on the table. Versus when there's no contract on the table and it's just your business, you know, I told my mom, I was like, you know, mom, I could have $5,000 in the bank and I'd be freaking out. And she was like, I was like, do you understand? And she said, no. And I said, you know, I understand why you don't understand because she's always had a contract on the table. She's never had to be in this situation. Some of you watching this video know exactly what I'm talking about. You've been placed in a situation where you've lost your job. You're getting ready to get laid off. And you know for a fact that now all the car, the whole deck is with you. What you going to do with it? One thing I recommend you do in that situation get this book right now go on Amazon get a used copy whatever you need to do just pick up this book start reading it start letting it fill your mind with the, the reality of who you are and what's really owed you number two click the link below click the link below and see the 1k everyday formula that I use in order to take me to that next level have all the information that you need 1k per day just just go ahead click the link below begin to leverage yourself Begin to take everything you know. Don't sit around any longer wondering, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You're going to click the link below and then go to the next. And then move on and move on. You're going to get this book. Okay? Order this book. Click the link below. And I'll be talking to you soon. Have an amazing day and keep smiling.